I have learned that I'm actually at my best when I'm being me. Uh, and I, I guess, again, I learn because this wasn't natural when I started. I've learned to dispense with pretense uh, and stop trying to prove how worthy I am to other people or how good I am at my job. Uh, and, and when I started, I, I struggled with a bit of an imposter syndrome. I remember, I remember sitting at my desk thinking, when are they going to figure out I don't actually know what I'm doing? Um, <laughs> And, and so as, as a consequence, it's really easy to overcompensate by trying to be something you think you're expected to be rather than being who you are and, and let your strengths shine. Uh, and, and the other thing I've learned very quickly in this industry, young people are incredibly perceptive and astute. Uh, and if you're inauthentic, uh, they, they see through you straight away and you lose all credibility. And I think on balance, I would also say that more than a leader's competency, what my staff want is to be led by someone they trust and, and who they know is going to be consistent in their behaviours and their attitudes. And when you're actually being yourself uh, and you're being authentic, then they know what that looks like. They know what they're going to get. They know how you're going to react. And that gives them a certainty and confidence that they're certainly in search of as, as staff members.